what's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellison, and today I'm team building around Chinchino for Sword and Shield OU. Then I'll be testing out the team on the Pokemon Showdown ladder. I love this set with King's Rock and Tail Slap plus Rock Blast, we get 41% flinch chances. I definitely want to add Rotom Heat to the team because it's one of the best Ferrothorn checks in the tier, and that's probably the worst Pokemon for Chinchino to run into because you're gonna take so much recoil from Iron Barbs, so. Let's go ahead and make this heavy duty boots. We can also Volt Switch out on Hydreigon, then bring in Chinchino and just get a U-turn and get that Volt Turn cycle started ideally. What I want to do right here is make this Volt Switch Nasty Plot Breaker just as a clef check, and then we can make it Will-O-Wisp and Overheat, obviously. I'll make it Max HP, Max Speed Timid, just to be able to outspeed Kamoa, which is really vital. We can wear that down using plus two Overheat for Tail Slap as well. Let's make a Timid Nature right now, and then I'll put the 4 into Special Attack. Now from here, I definitely want... A better Toxabex check would be great, because Rotom can't really switch in reliably due to the possibility of Toxic, so... What can do that for us? Because, like, Rocky Helmet Packs would be really annoying for a Tail Slap as well. So, what can I do? I don't see a lot of Rocky Helmet Packs, but I just want to be mindful of it, so... Let's see... I could go with Hatterene, I could Magic Bounce stuff, Reuniclus is another option, that would also not be that bad because I could catch Mandibuzz with Thunder, and that's another Pokemon that often runs Rocky Helmet, and getting rid of that would be really good for Chinchino. You know, a lot of people go hard Mandibuzz on Reuniclus naturally, so I think I'll just do it without really overthinking. We'll make it Life Orb Magic Guard Breaker with like Thunder. I want Focus Blast on here because it also hits Ferrothorn, which is just an added bonus, then I can run Psychic and like recover. Make it an anti-trick room set by going zero speed IVs. I don't want max speed, actually. Let's go with max special attack and max HP and a minus speed nature and put the four into speed F. So great. I definitely love the offensive pairings we have right now. Despite the fact that Rotom is kind of a pivot, it definitely offers a lot of offensive potential with nasty plot. Where do I want to go from here? I definitely need hazards of my own. Maybe I could add like a Scarf or two, that would be really valuable. Like Scarf Hydreigon would destroy this team, I'm not gonna lie. I couldn't get that Volturn cycle started against Choice Scarf Hydreigon because Draco would just Oko my Chinchino, so... Maybe like a good Hydreigon switch would be great. So I believe the best ones are AV Hatterene, which I could replace Uriniclus, but I could also just go with like Spidef Mandibuzz, which I actually haven't ran in a really long time, I'm realizing. That could be the best way to go here. It would complete my Volt Turn core. I don't think I would need any more. We would have two U-Turn users and a Volt Switch user. Would be a great way to knock off opposing choice items and just maintain speed control with Chinchino. I think I've sold myself. I'll go Manda Buzz right here. With U-Turn, knock off, Defog, and Roost. Seems fine. We'll make it heavy duty boots. So double boots, I definitely run this core a lot, or at least I used to. I've been experimenting with some other stuff, but Rotom plus Manda Buzz, like any Rotom form, is honestly so good, so... I love that. We'll make it Overcoat. I did mention I want to make it Spidaf just to ensure that I can maybe sponge like Life Orb Dracos from Hydreigon. And then I can go with like minus special attack with 4 in defense. So nice. We have a Dragapult and Hydreigon switch in now. Shinshino is not really a Dragapult switch in. It does have the ghost immunity, but like before Mandibuzz was on the team, they had like no reason not to Draco. Now they might U-turn out every time, which will help me out. I could even make it Helmet to take advantage of that, but then taking Hazards is so pointless. What do I want now? I definitely want Hazards of my own, and ideally a Choice Scarfer to round things out, so... What could the Choice Scarfer be, is the question. Hmm, my own Hydreigon wouldn't be that bad. What would I U-turn out on, though? Because people would throw in stuff like Hatterene, probably Mandibuzz of their own, and I don't really have many great ways to take advantage of, like, U-turning out. Reuniclus can catch Amanda Buzz on the switch in, but I'm not going to go Reuniclus on Amanda Buzz after I U-turn out. And, like, Rotom is not going to do too much damage with the Volt switch, and I'm just going to take a knockoff. So, maybe a Scarfer that just provides immediate breaking potential would be better, rather than providing, like, another U-turn momentum Pokemon. So, like, Dracovish should be fine. I always say that I don't really like Choice Scarf Dracovish. I only touch Choice Band, but Choice Scarf could be good right here. Just being able to check opposing Hydreigon as well. We can revenge that using Outrage. Yeah, I think I'll do it. We'll go with Choice Scarf Dracovish today. With obviously Strong Jaw. Scarf. I could add Pelipper as last one, but then it would have no hazards, so there's really no point to that either. There's no point to adding Pelipper only for Dracovish. Vicious Rend, Crunch. 
Psychic Fangs Outrage with Adamant Age here. So actually, if we can wear down Pex using Psychic Fangs, that'll help out Shinshino a lot too, but the main Pex counter is obviously Reuniclus. Let's go ahead and put four in Spadef, and we need one more Pokemon right now. My team gets destroyed by Opposing Rain, so the two Rockers I should probably go with without really thinking about much else is Ferrothorn or Seismitoad. Seismitoad would provide me with a Volt Switch switching. I would have the ground type for the electric immunity, and that would definitely stop momentum. Ferrothorn would provide me with... I could run rocks and spikes on it for double hazard stack, but... Like, I would get 6 out if I ran into, like, a Gyarados. Like, Dragon Dance Gyarados with Power Up would destroy this team if I didn't have Ferrothorn and had Seismitoad instead. And I know that's something that I really shouldn't be fearing considering Gyarados' usage stats are really low, but I'll go Ferrothorn instead. Ferrothorn can also help check Pokemon like Excadrill and Bisharp just as well as a Seismitoad would. We can just Leech Sheet and then like Gyre Ball them down, so this should be fine with like Gyre Ball Power Whip, and I'm gonna forego the double hazards I was talking about and just run this with Fizz Def. Yeah, and that'll be fine, so. We'll look at max HP, max defense with the minus speed nature, even more anti-trick room alongside Reuniclus, and I believe if I put the 4 EVs in here, that is going to be the team, so let's go ahead and play. Okay, so I have a game right here. My opponent has a pretty standard looking team. I definitely want to continue being on top of my game because I'm still like top 200 right now, so let's go ahead and lead off with... If I were them, I would lead off with either Cinderace or Dugtrio. Dugtrio could get up hazards or get the early trap on something like my Chinchino, so I definitely don't want to opt for that. Maybe the better lead right here is just going to be either Mandibuzz or Dracovish. I like both of those a lot. Let's go with Dracovish. As they end up leading with the Pex, so I think it's pretty safe to assume Toxic comes out right here. I'm going to make the play into Reuniclus. I doubt they double immediately. Yeah, they go right for Toxic, so... Now I can try to catch either Sylveon or Mandibuzz. I think I'll go for Thunder here. As it ends up being Hydreigon, I actually crit as that comes in, so that's a bit helpful. And what I can do here is bring in Mandibuzz. Ideally, it's not Nasty Plot Life Orb. I think it's Nasty Plot Life Orb, which is uh, for sure gonna kill me right now, so... I mean, I don't really want to go Ferrothorn on Draco. Yeah, let's just go for U-Turn. Oh, wait, does that, did I live that and it was Life Orb? Wow, okay. I thought it would for sure kill me, but I guess that's not the case. I can just go Chinchino now and U-Turn out again. That's actually crazy to me. Should I Tail Slap? That might honestly be the play. Let's go for Tail Slap, I think. Oh, Eject Button into Dougie. Wait, but Dougie, I don't think it'd kill me in one hit. Ah, uh, maybe it can. <laughs> okay, it ends up being Mandibuzz. This could be Rocky Helmet. I want to find out, so I'm going to go for U-Turn. It's not. What I can do here is... I mean, they're gonna go for knockoff, right? I can either choose to sack off my own Mandibuzz, or I can go... Honestly, my Scarf being gone with Dracovish wouldn't be that bad. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, they have foul play. Okay, that sucks. Yeah, now I have to, like, make a prediction. Do I call Pex coming in, or do I just not bother? I think I'm just gonna fish this around. I don't really want to predict the Pex, and also, I can't really double here into Reuniclus. Let's just attack. Yeah, ends up being Pex. I could have been aggressive right there. That still does an okay amount, and, like, I can still get into Reuniclus, so it's not too big of a deal. I could also double Fishish Rend if I think they're gonna double out predicting Reuniclus. But if I take a Toxic here, I would probably lose, so let's go Reuniclus. I should have done it. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, I should, have, I should have committed right there. Well, what I can do now is bring in Rotom and try to Nasty Plot. They go for Wish. Uh, that can't go to Hydreigon, so I have to overheat. They're just staying in. Okay, they have Calm Mind. Good to know. Wish Calm Mind, Protect Hyper Voice. My Ferrothorn should wall this. Yeah. I'm gonna take the turn to get up rocks. As they go Cinderace. That's fine. They're gonna Chord Change, ideal. I mean, possibly, but I'm gonna go Rotom. As they just Power Ball. That is Banded. Okay. <laughs> Let's get out of there. They missed that one. Okay, helpful, I guess. What I can do here is, I think I have Psychic Fangs this time. Yeah, I catch the Pex coming in, and now what I can do is double out into Chinchino, I think, on this turn. On the Banda Buzz, and uh, let's Tail Slap Flinch this. <laughs> yep, there we go, can I do it one more time? Actually, Rock Blast is my better play, I don't know why I'm not doing that. It's 41% Chinchino, come on. Well, actually, I don't know why I'm Rock Blasting now. Oh, it has more accuracy than Tail Slap? Never mind, I do know why. <laughs> I need one Flinch. 
Can I do it? Come on, Chinchino. This is your video. Just flinch it down with this Amanda Buzz and we have an opening here. I really hope it happens, but I, I don't know. It's King's Rock is not only for contact moves, right? Because I don't think this makes contact. I'm pretty sure this can flinch. Let's just go for it. Uh, but yeah, this is this is a weird win condition, but I'm gonna try. How much health is my Rotom on? 45. Oh yeah, I took that banded power ball. I forgot. That was a bad pivot, but... I mean, if I can get rid of this, then my Reuniclus can just spam Psychic and Focus Blast it more freely. Really just Psychic. Because the moment the Hydreigon attacks, it's dead, and then I can Psychic through the rest. I sort of wish I was Psy Shock here, because Sylveon takes those hits a lot worse, and because it's Calm Mind Sylveon, it actually does 1v1 me, so... Kinda scary right now. They're really debating about this turn. I really want to flinch this thing. I just need one more flinch. I mean, I got the one. It's 41%, so... I really shouldn't expect another flinch, but it would be super funny if I got it. Are they really debating switching out here? Like, you could go Pex, I guess. I could just pivot into Reuniclus, though, and then... You're in kind of a tricky spot from there, because I could easily Thunder. Have I shown Thunder? I did, yeah. I clicked it against the Hydreigon earlier. I hope this guy plays, like... This is kind of an interesting match. Play me, dude. So it looks like if I get two crits out of five hits, I could also knock it out, but that's really unlikely, so I don't think that's happening. Ends up being Pex. I do hit the Rock Blast. It's doing no damage. Do I go for the Tail Slap Flinch, or do I U-turn? I think I, uh, oh, it has Baneful Bunker and Toxic. Okay, that just ruined everything. I think at this point I might go for the Tail Slap Flinch then. Oh, they, they went Duggy. Okay, so I get rid of Duggy, which is helpful, but they're going to get in Pex now. Okay, well, I'm obviously going to get in Reuniclus on that, and I can Thunder here. They should go Sylveon, not Mandibuzz. Ooh, I get the Para on Sylveon. I'm getting really lucky, but it's still not going to help me. Also, that Para could actually be bad, depending on how much damage my Gyarball is doing now, so that's a bit concerning. Going to go right for Psychic here. If they don't get the Protect off, I get this attack, but I have to Thunder. Can't let them pass it to Hydreigon. Yeah, they passed it to Hydreigon that turn. I should have just continued clicking Thunder. Whatever, it's really not that big of a deal, if I'm being honest. I go Mandibuzz here and then revenge it using Dracovish. Yeah, I think I'm fine. Like, I'm not too worried about this game. Just because my Dracovish is still healthy. Goes right for a nasty plot. I don't think that'll help them that much. I'll go Chinchino now and Tail Slap again. Yeah, Pex comes in. I get five hits and a crit right there. Let's go for it one more time. No dice. Baneful Bunker. Sylveon is low. I can easily win this game with the Dracovish if I get rid of this. They win Mandibuzz. Okay. Well, they're gonna knock, right? So I should go... I need to get rid of that thing. They go for defog, okay, that's actually okay with me. I can vault out now, I think. Into Pharaoh. On the roost. Maybe go for lead sheet first, is what I'm thinking. I miss on Cinderace, okay, that's not very helpful. They're going to get to banded power ball something. I'm gonna go hard Dracovish and double to Reuniclus. Yeah, I catch Pex coming in. I gotta get these turns right, but I'm never getting them. Like, I'm just gonna thunder, like whatever. <laughs> Yeah, they go Hydreigon this time, and I miss anyway. Like, I got the crit earlier, but I'm getting all of these turns wrong now. Let's go Pharah. On the Draco Meteor. Throw up the Hazards again. They have Flamethrower, but because they were at minus two, I can live that. So this thing's low again. I can go Chinchino here in U-turn. Pex, I go Reuniclus. Okay, if I hit this Thunder, I'm fine. Nice, I hit into that. Now they can go Cinderace again. This is still winnable. Oh, this is... Is this Scarf? I didn't even... Oh, no, it's Banded. We saw that earlier. Never mind. So, I could kill it here. I definitely... I think I live Banded Power Ball. The question is, is that worth it? <laughs> Cinder... Let me just make sure that I'm living. Power Ball on max attack. Yeah, I will live. 
80 to 95 on max attack choice ban. Do I take the kill? I think the answer is yes. Flare Blitz. Okay, that. Thankfully, I lived that too. Isn't that the same power as Pyro Ball? I guess it's just for accuracy, right? I don't know why this came in. I'm faster than this. I'm not. I'm at Trick Room. I forgot. Okay. Well, that's actually not that big of a deal. I think I have this using Dracovish plus Rotom. So, what I can do right here is go Rotom. Volt out into Chinchino on the Toxic. Then Tail Slap. They're going to Baneful Bunker. Sex Sylveon. I want to say I'm good here. Mm. Recovers. They can Baneful Bunker here, so let's go Rotom. Do I live Scald? Uh, Toxapex? Man, I, I feel like I had so many openings this game, and I just didn't play it that well. Yeah, I definitely should have played this better. I live, though, so maybe this is doable. Yeah, Scald doesn't kill me. Yeah, I lived that just fine. So here's what the game comes down to now. If they click Recover here on my Volt Switch, I lose. If they click... Scald here on my Nasty Plot, I lose. But if I get the play right, then I win. They clicked Recover. I, I got it, I think. Let's Volt out now. I think I'm good. Yep, kill that. Go Chinchino here and wrap it up with the Chinchino. And they run. I'll be right back. Okay, I have another game right here. That was like nearly 30 points. I'm 18-12 right now. I was like 17-84 before that game. So pretty happy about that. Now what I want to do is try to beat this using... I think... Well, I don't want to give Dracovish free momentum. Getting early rocks could actually be the move here. So let's go for that. Yeah, they lead Pelipper. I don't know if this has knockoff or anything of the sort, but... I don't even know if it gets it this gen, but I'll get up rocks here. Okay, that's... I think Specs Hurricane maybe? Or is it just Raw Hurricane? I don't actually know. I want to find out though, so let's go ahead and calc. I mean, I'm Fizz Def, so it wouldn't surprise me if that's not Specs. Yeah, Specs would do more, so... They're definitely some sort of other set. I'll go Amanda Buzz here on the U-turn. Oh, I just invited in Dracovish. <laughs> okay, it actually ends up being Heliolisk, which is... Okay, I can probably live a hit with this if I'm being honest. I know that sounds crazy, but... Spidef Mandibuzz is like insanely bulky. I'm gonna go for the U-turn. I think I live. Yeah. <laughs> Spidef Mandibuzz is dumb. And what I can do now is get in... I mean, I'm gonna go Chinchino, and but I think the play is a knockoff. Because if I tail slap into Ferrothorn, I'm gonna take so much. Yeah, they go Pharaoh. So I get rid of Choppleberry, and what I can do here is U-turn now. Probably wasn't actually worth U-turning there, now that I'm looking back, but I'll go Reuniclus. Goes right for hazards. This is my turn to get an opening with an attack here. So what attack do I want to click? I think Focus Blast always here. They go hard Dracovish and it's in range of hazards now. So if I sack my Pharaoh, it's dead. Definitely worth it. So I'm able to knock that out. Now what do they do? They could go... Crowd on tier to revenge? I just realized if I get rid of their Heliolisk, my Scarf Dracovish is going to destroy their team. But that's easier said than done. I also need to get more damage on their Pharaoh to help out my Chinchino win con. That's kind of important. And I'm relatively worried about the Mantine now because of the fact that... Okay, this is fine. This showed, what, Life Orb? I actually want this to take Life Orb damage, so I'll sack this off here to Thunder. And then follow it up with... Chinchino again. And this time I'm just going to go right for U-turn on the Pharaoh and bring in... Rotom here. And just overheat through. Yeah. Okay, good. So that's going to put me ahead. They go Pelipper. This was the, the rock, right? So they sent it out turn one. So rain went up. When did rain go down? Rain continues to fall. Rain continues to fall. Yeah, it's it's the damp rock. So I can Volt Switch out now. On the Heliolisk. Bring this in. And now I can safely Tail Slap and hit my move and win the game, ideally. If I get rid of this, then my Dracovish just clicks Fishish Rand, and there's not a lot they can do. I mean, like, Mantine can obviously do its thing and outspeed me, but I still don't even know if it lives, to be honest. I should- no, there's no point in keeping this. 
So there's a Surf. I go Reuniclus now, click Psychic every time. I'll live any Surf. Actually, I might have to Thunder. Okay, we hit. So now Dracovis can do it. I didn't want Hard Crowd on being the play there. So let's wrap it up with this. Um, I mean, I guess if they Swords Dance enough to the point where like they can Aqua Jet. They did just lose, yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna be able to beat this team and I'll be right back. All right, I have another game right here. We have Heliolisk Rain again, which is really interesting. I definitely want to lead off with my Chinchino, I think. Against Hat? So there's a few plays here. I can Tail Slap and just flinch it. Which I'm just gonna go for, I guess. Like, they go Drill and it reveals to be Lefties. What I can do here is just go ahead and you turn into Pharaoh and get up my own hazards, maybe? I mean, they should go back to Hatterene on that. That's the thing. And there's really not a whole lot I can do. But I don't want to risk my Dracovish here. That's the problem. Who's joining my game? Well, let's see. Okay, they actually double out again. I don't understand, but... Allows me to get into Reuniclus, and I think just safe Psychic here is pretty, like, uh, alright. I can just go for that. If they go Drill, I can just try to focus Blast after, and if I get rid of it, that's gonna really help me out. Damage on this is honestly kind of good too. What do I do about this though? Because I don't really want to stay in as they calm mind and they just start missing. I don't want to be aggressive and go Chinchino though, considering it actually does a lot of work this game. Hard Dracovish is not a play. None, none of these guys are really plays against Tatarine. Maybe I just try it. Future Sight. Okay. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Maybe I should try to knock off these lefties. Future Sight goes off not the, at the end of this turn, right? At the end of next turn? I'm pretty sure if I stay in here, I should be good, but... I'm gonna Focus Blast, maybe trying to catch the Excadrill. You never know. Nuzzles me, okay. And this is the turn that the Future Sight goes off, right? So... I'll, I'll make the Manda Buzz play. Goes for Mystical Fire. I don't take the Future Sight, which is helpful. As much as I hate Mandibuzz potentially dying here, I'm going to try to knock off this lefties. This is really annoying. This Pokemon in particular is going to give my team a really tough time. They crit it. I think the crit mattered, but like obviously not a lot I can do about it. Let's go Dracovish here, and this is where like I got to get my plays right. If I can start to wear down Heliolisk, I would be in such a good spot, but I think I have to fish this around. Like, if I, if I fish this around and they do anything but go Heliolisk, like if they just stay into Dazzle, I lose, like straight up. If they go hard Heliolisk, I can always bring out... Okay, Ferrothorn is a good mid-ground here, I feel. Because they're gonna first impression, right? And then I can take the turn to wear down Hatterene even more with Gyre Ball. I doubt they would let me get up rocks. I guess they could go Kamo'o, but... Yeah, this rain team's gonna give me a bit of a tougher time, I feel. Yeah, there's first impression. I take that quite well. Oh, the emergency exit due to Iron Barbs and Life Orb. Didn't consider that. Life Orb Golisopod, that's interesting tech. I only ever see Choice Band, so that's really interesting. I definitely don't know what play they want to make. Maybe the Kamo'o again? But like that invites in Reuniclus, and I don't think that's that good for them. This is definitely going for Mystical Fire. I'm just going to make the Hard Drake of- No, that's that's a horrible play. What am I saying? I can't do that. As confident as I am that they're clicking that move. Uh, I don't want to sack this either. Let's go Rotom. Yeah, I really can't go hard, Dracovish. If I lose it, I lose, so. It is what it is, right? As much as I want to be aggressive here, it, I don't want to risk the game. Goes right for Future Sight. That's interesting, okay. Well, I could obviously overheat. Those nasty plot up ones. I don't think they're going hard drill. And then I can actually pressure something here. They might bring out Kamo'o. But then I can Volt Switch out into... Okay, they stay in. Mystical Fires to lower my stats. I think I just overheat now. Yeah, overheat's fine. It'll kill this, and even if I take a Future Sight... Do I really want to take the Future Sight? I think I will. Like, the overheat could be valuable. If they get in Kamo'o, I can either burn it or there's a Volt Switch out after. I don't think Future Sight will straight up kill me. Okay, I get rid of the hat. I did live there. So, this is still doable now. Like, now that the, the Hatterene is out of the way, that helps me out a lot. I can click Dragon Moves with my Dracovish now without really thinking too much. 
Which is actually my best win condition, I'm realizing. If I can get more damage on the drill, that can easily do it. Go Pharaoh here on the Volt. Good, I mean, yeah, good Volt play. I was definitely hoping they would Hyper Voice or maybe Thunderbolt. Because now they get in Kamoa, right? Wait, but I can do a hard Runiclus and they don't have good plays against that anymore. If they go hard drill on my Runiclus, I just get kills with Outrage from Dracovish later. Wait a minute, what? Dude, you're just going to lose to my Dracovish straight up if you do this. Why? Do you even kill me? Probably, but... Wait, you're lefty, Zidrell. I don't even think you do. Do I rocks or do I power whip again? I think rocks is better. Okay, that did kill me. Never mind. <laughs> I, I was hoping that would make me live, but I can go Dracovish now. Crunch seems to be the best mid ground, assuming it can kill this. I don't actually know if it does or not. I think it does. I mean, to be fair, I am base 90 attack. Okay, I, I do kill this. Let's just click that. Heliolisk comes out. That is good with me. I can just crunch again. Like, if they go Kamo, I'll just go harder in Eclipse like I've been doing. And I think I can win this game using Scarf Outrage now. Unless this is Scarf as well. That would be the one thing. In that case, I'm going to really regret how I played my Rotom. It is Scarf. I think I lost. Yeah, because that just put me in range of T-Bolt right there. Okay, if I want to beat that thing, I have to keep Chinchino at full health. Yeah, because Shinshino's the only thing that might live a Scarf hit from that, so let's be careful regarding that play. I didn't consider Scarf heal Lilisk. I was thinking it might be Specs under Rain, but... Oh, they're playing aggressively here, okay. Well, what I'll do is I'll sack this off. And then get in Shinshino. I think they probably have a guaranteed win if they just switch out Golisopod and First Impression spam, but... I'm obviously going to play off the choke of them not doing that. Let's go right for Tail Slap here. I'm pretty sure they just win if they switch out. Man, I should have played more aggressively this game. Also, that Hatterene really messed me up. It is what it is, though. Like, I'm not too frustrated about it. Let's see. So, maybe if it's Thunder Heliolisk, I can go off a miss and win the game? That's like the hope here, I guess. Oh, I gotta flinch this, I'm realizing. I don't want to U-turn into Reuniclus right now. I probably should, though. Let's, let's go for the U-turn. Yeah, let's U-turn and then go for Psychic. Maybe Shinshino can still be a late-game win con for me. I don't think so, but... If it dies here, I lose, and I really don't want to bank off these odds, so... Can you turn flinch? It can. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, I have King's Rock, so I'm assuming it c there's a possibility. I'll Psychic here. I'm hoping they suck off, like, well, honestly, Heliolisk, but Drill would be perfect too. So if that was Scarf Heliolisk, they actually risked the game by throwing it in. I think they would have had a much easier time here had they just kept it at full. Like, I could have easily crit through that too, and then the game would have always been mine, but obviously that's not really a win condition. I mean, it is, but it's not one that I'm, I would be proud of. Okay, so if this can kill, I'm fine. It does. Okay, that was a crit. Uh, it might have mattered because they were lefties drill, meaning it's probably a spit F. Yeah, so this goes for first impression. Not a whole lot I can do about it besides sack this off now. So let's sack this off. Yeah, that's able to knock me out straight up. Um... Yeah, there's nothing I can do. I mean, I'll play it out, but I, I don't think there's a win condition for me here. If I Outrage here, they're going to sack off probably Pelipper and then come back in in first impression, right? Oh, wait, they might be throwing. Why did you do that? Oh, wait, but that puts me in range of Heliolisk. Yeah, it's over. You know what's crazy if that Heliolisk... No, it's Choice Scarf. I'm still thinking it's a Life Orb because of the other one. I mean, I, would, I, I don't hope they, like, somehow mess up here and, like, miss Focus Blast. <laughs> Predict my Chinchina when I'm in Locked into Outrage, dude. It's the play. Trust me. Yeah, they go for Volt. There's no win con for Chinchino, I don't think. I would have to hope they choke and don't Volt switch into, like, Hyper Voice or whatever, but... Like, if they don't, I could win. So there's Kamo. I obviously have to Tail Slap Flinch this. 
So the hope is I tail slap, then they go Pelipper for no reason instead of Heliolisk, and it looks like they just straight up broke their red there, so. GG, dude, that guy definitely played well, I didn't, so it is what it is, and yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I have the next game right here. My opponent has a really cool Sticky Webs team. I definitely like the, whatever this thing is called, Arc Desult, and then this thing is probably Competitive Abuser, right? So that's what I would predict. What I want to do right here is lead off with, Probably Reuniclus, but if it actually has a bug move, that's annoying. I'll go Rotom instead. But then if they lead Drill, that's so bad. Like, this is a weird lead situation as well. Ferrothorn catches both the the Drill and the Red Bombi, but its health is really valuable here. Uh, you know what, I can go, I can go Pharaoh. Like, Pharaoh is useful, especially if the Hydreigon doesn't have a Fire-type move. But I think it might, and then the Aegislash might have close combat. If I want to beat the, what's that thing called, Melodic, I have to break it down using, oh, they lead Hydreigon. That's really odd. Well, I'll go Manda Buds, I guess. Oh, is this Life Orb? Is this gonna be like game one again? Oh, it's a Dragon Pulse, okay. Well, luckily it was a, it was a Dragon Pulse for who knows what reason. I'll bring this out now, and I think what I want to do is just go right for, just click Outrage, whatever. Give me that. Red Bombi comes in. You either kill me here or you get up webs. You should kill me first. Oh, I actually lived it. I'm still slower, by the way, which is kind of funny. Um, as much as I don't want to keep this because it's just going to be sack fodder, I will. They go for Moonblast again. I can overheat here. And then I can overheat again. I don't want the drill pivoting in. Should I Wisp in case they make that play? Oh, they went Milotic, so... I'm assuming this was Flame Orb anyway. <laughs> They're not gonna go Drill, right? Ferrothorn's a good mid-ground. Yeah, they went Drill, okay. I could've tried to be aggressive there and stayed in, but Ferrothorn was also an alright option. I can just lead cheat now. I need... To, I can just lead cheat now. There we go. And now what I can do is get up rocks. <laughs> they spin that turn, which is kind of funny. Dude, you aren't going to win this exchange. Just spam Earthquake, yeah. Now they can spin to get rid of everything. Like, that's what they should have been doing. Okay, and I keep my rocks up. That was the whole goal right there, so that's helpful. Um, Do I lose? No, I don't think I lose. Uh, I can leech eat this, but if it's sub, that's really bad. So I don't really want to mindlessly click that. I will, though, because um, who cares? <laughs> let's just click it, and let's gyro ball now. Actually, let's power whip now. I don't know what this guy's trying to do now. Like, it, this is a weird game. How fast is Arc Desult? It's slower than my Rotom by a lot. Okay. So I think the best play here is to go Rotom. And just overheat. Like, they suck off Red Bombi. Understandable. To get in Melodic, understandable. I can Volt Switch out here. I did 40, which is actually, like, decent damage. I'll bring this out and just start spamming Psychic. Like, even Aegislash is not gonna take this that great. Like, it's actually kind of funny how not well that takes it. What I can do here is go Rotom again. Do you not have King Shield? No, you do. Okay. I'm gonna plot up. Now I have to overheat. What am I saying? They go Melodic. I can Volt out here, and this time the, the Age Slash cannot come in on my Reuniclus. Wait, is this Mirror Coat? Mm. I don't think it's a Mirror Coat. When did this recover so much? Hold up. Why? I generally don't remember when that recovered, but I'll click Knock Off now. I'm faster, so that should wrap it up using Rotom. I don't think Arc Desult can knock out my Rotom, right? They have Ice Beam. So I bring this out here to spam Psychic. And then I, I don't think there's any way for that thing to beat my Rotom. <laughs> I guess Overheat misses? Like, question mark? I know it gets Bolt Beak, but... Like, it's probably Banded. I'm doing 55, wow. So yeah, let's just take the trade and then hope that my Rotom can actually do its thing. I don't know what it would have. Icicle Crash, yeah, I just Overheat here, right? And it's over. Yeah, okay, so it wasn't even, like, faster. I'll be right back. Alright, I have another game right here. My opponent has a pretty standard-looking team. I definitely want to be careful about the Cinderace. Looks like a pretty big threat. 
I like the idea of leading off with either Unicolus, but if they lead Hydreigon, I would have to pivot Mandibuzz, or I could also lead Rotom here, which also does well against everything except for Hydreigon. I think I'll do that because, well, no, it also doesn't do well against Kamoa. That's the thing. Okay, I can go for an endgame with the Draco Vish here. Let's go Rotom. Ends up being Hydreigon. Okay, let's go Mandibuzz. I don't think they would nasty plot on the T-Wave. Yeah, they go for Draco. Looks to be maybe Scarf. I'll lose that off here on the Corviknight. Actually, why did Corviknight come in? I could knock this off. Is it sub? If it is sub, I'll just go hard to Rotom after. So let's try to knock off here. Okay, I get rid of lefties. I'm definitely happy with that. I don't know why they did that, but I'll go Rotom now. I guess they really value the damage for Hydreigon later, but what I can do now is just go right for Will-O-Wisp. Maybe I should just overheat immediately. Okay, they go Hydreigon. I get a crit there. Is that the second time I've overheat crit a Hydreigon? I crit it with something in the first game. I can't remember. Oh, it was Reuniclus's Thunder. That's what it was. Good U-turn play. So next time I come in on Draco, I can't safely stay in. That's something I have to keep in mind here. Life Orb Moonblast hurts. I don't think they would go hard Hydreigon again. I'm gonna Nasty Plot. That seems really aggressive. Yeah, they stay into Moonlight. Now they're definitely not going hard head Dragon, so let's nasty plot again here. Yeah, why would you throw it in on plus two overheat? That seems pointless. I don't kill this, right? Uh, Clefable. I want to get this right. Plus two. On just like 196 HP. How much am I doing? 83 to 98. I'm gonna. I don't think they're going hard head Dragon. I'm gonna nasty plot. They go Kamo. I'm gonna try to plus four overheat this, I think. And take the kill. This is getting rid of this would help out my well my Ferrothorn's hazard potential as well as just my Chinchino a lot. So do I volt switch out or do I overheat? I'm gonna volt. Yeah, I like volt a lot more. That still did a decent amount, and I can still get in Reuniclus here and put on some pressure. Oh, never mind. Plus one clinging skills is gonna blow me away after this. Okay, um, is that a roll? I can try to maybe go off that. Maybe the 41 was a high roll. Come on, oh. Let's say they're modest clinging skills. Max special attack. Okay, it looks like they kill me. <laughs> yeah, even timid, like does 60 min. So I think they min rolled red there. Wow, that really gives my team a hard time. If I switched out here, and they were to go for Clangorous Soul, I would lose the game. But I think they're just going to clanging skills. It's a super safe click for them. I can't risk it. Yeah, I couldn't risk them clanging skills again. That would be really bad. I can get in Chinchina now, and this is where I have to decide how aggressive I want to be. There's no play besides Tail Slap, right? Okay, ends up being Age Slash. Okay, so that was definitely a setback. I can either knock off here, or I can go for a U-turn. Let's go for a U-turn. Into Manda Buzz. Flash Cannon hurts, but I should outspeed. Never mind, they're really that fast. Okay. Rotom, I need you to save me here. <laughs> Maybe I should have overheated into that Komo, -oh, because then I'd, like Dracovish might have had some fun. I'm pretty sure there's Scarf Hyde Dragon, though, so that's just going to be able to revenge me whether I like it or not. So there's this. I'm going to go out into this and then really bank on them clicking fire move. There we go. So now what I can do is fish around through and get my kill, which is going to help me out a lot here. Like, I got to start making these offensive maneuvers because I didn't do it earlier. So let's try to play it back. I can fish around here for a kill. I should be getting a kill no matter what, I, th I think. There's nothing they can do to stop my kill. So it's going to be on Kamo. That's what I need gone, actually, so... Pretty happy with this. We know it was Throat Spray. Let's get rid of it. Then they basically have to go... No, they could go Clef here if they wanted. This is where I have to either be really aggressive or... They clicked Fire Blast and they missed. I feel bad. I could have been really aggressive there and stayed in and probably just won the game, but... I didn't want, to, I didn't want that to be the game-defining turn right there, so... That just saved me the game, basically. Do I Oko? Clefable, Dracovish. 
I don't. That's Max Fizz death, never mind. I should just kill that is choice scarf, right? Yeah, it all goes. Goodbye. Okay, so now they're gonna bring back Hydreigon. They, they really just- I, I just got the game saved because of that miss, but... I'll make the same play again. And this time they Draco. I'm getting so lucky, but... Good play, dude. I definitely acknowledge that. But... I can still get back in Pharaoh. And try to gyre ball here, I guess. Ends up being Age Slash. I, maybe I shouldn't have risked that, you could argue. But I, I didn't think they would actually stay in, to be fair. So Shadow Ball hurts. That's definitely Specs, so let's get out of here. And I can knock off. The only way that's actually bad is if there's Sucker Punch on the... On the Cinderace. So if they're, if they're a Sucker Punch, I just threw, but... Maybe they're not. I think I would have had this game right there had I just gyre balled with Pharah. Body press. I can overheat here. And try to go for the KO. They shouldn't risk Cinderace because if it gets T-Wave, they actually lose. I don't know if this is Sucker Punch, and there's really no way for me to find out. Yeah, I think I threw by letting Dracovish take that hit. I jump kicks there. I'll go out into this and try to fish it around. Do you have Sucker Punch? I really hope I didn't throw this because they have Sucker Punch now. Wait, don't I have to play off Draco Miss anyway now because that Hydreigon's still alive? Yeah, I do. I threw this game so hard. I got- I actually played it back too, which is really sad. Alright, this will be the last game. Like, I'm definitely not on top of my game right now and I don't want to lose too many points just off of this. So it's not Sucker Punch. If they miss Draco, I still win, but... Like obviously, that's a really bad win condition. Let's go for it. Oh, wait, they should Dark Pulse here, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, they could just Dark Pulse and win, right? Is there anything I can do to get around that? If I go Rotom... I don't think so. Doesn't look like it, at least. Yeah, I, I had this game had I just Gyra Ball. That's crazy. I, I threw so hard. Ah, uh, okay, that, that's so sad. I can go Rotom here, or I can go Chinchino. Let's just go Rotom. Now let's go Chinchino. Yeah, they just click Dark Pulse. They know what they have to do, so that's that's GG. Nothing I can do about that. Even had I gone Rotom and then gone Chinchino, there wasn't a win con for me, so... Uh, that was that was unfortunate. I, I really threw that game hard. I'm sorry. That was probably hard to watch, but I still had a lot of fun today. I definitely hope you all enjoyed. You can find the team down below in the description, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.